Hey guys, it's Mallory here with All About Cats. In this week's video, we're doing another in-depth cat food brand review. We're going to be taking a look at a company that prepares fresh human grade food and has it shipped to your door. The name of that company is Smalls. So I've been aware of Smalls for a while since the company started a few years ago. So I've had quite a bit of time to research this company. I've interviewed the founders of the company and I've purchased several orders from them. So I've gotten a pretty good understanding of what Smalls does and how this whole experience works. And based on that experience and knowledge, I'm going to be telling you all the details about Smalls. So as you watch, you're going to learn about the ingredients that are used in Smalls Foods, how Smalls Foods are made, and what you get in each shipment. I'm going to be telling you about some specific recipes and how my cats reacted to each of them. It's going to be pretty in-depth, so if there are any particular issues or ideas that you want to focus on, you can use the video navigation to jump to a section that interests you. With that being said, let's jump into the review. So Smalls is another of a growing number of companies that are aiming to shake up the pet food industry by following a direct to consumer model. You've probably heard of a few other companies that are following a similar model. Uh, there's Nom Nom, which also offers some food for cats. Uh, the Farmer's Dog and Ollie uh, are doing it for dogs specifically. So this is a kind of a new and trending way to produce and sell pet food. Smalls takes a little bit of a different approach to it. They focus exclusively on cats and they offer a broader selection than do the majority of companies following this model. The small selection includes three different types of foods. So you have fresh uh, homemade style foods, then you have freeze dried foods, and finally you have kibble. Now, whether they're kibble or freeze dried or fresh, all of these foods are made from human grade ingredients and then they are produced in a facility that meets the same standards that apply to um, human food processing facilities. In each of these three categories, the foods offer a wide variety of protein sources. The fresh foods are available in chicken, turkey, beef, and fish recipes, while the freeze-dried foods come in chicken, turkey, and duck. The dry foods are available in three recipes, so you can choose from turkey, chicken, or fish. All Smalls foods are formulated with the assistance of a veterinary nutritionist and they meet the nutritional guidelines set forth by the AAFCO or American Association of Feed Control Officials. So these foods are formulated to meet the needs of all life stages from kittens to adult cats. Now this is the part of the video where I typically talk about recalls, but Smalls has never been involved in a recall. Again, this company is pretty new. They've been in business since about 2017, so they haven't really had a long time to prove their strengths. So I wouldn't say that never having been involved in a recall necessarily means that this brand is is particularly doing something well, but it does it does say something good. At least they haven't been involved in any recalls in these last three or so years. Now it's important to mention that Smalls is not just a cat food brand. It's not just about the food. Ordering from Smalls is an entire experience that involves a unique ordering process and uh, regular deliveries and interacting with the company regularly to make any adjustments. So it's important to talk about that too. So I went through the sign up process in order to give you a sense of how that looks. You're going to sign up on the Smalls website and fill out a little questionnaire about your household. So you'll answer questions about your cat. You'll also answer questions about your budget. Uh, Smalls is trying to feel out exactly which type of meal plan would be best suited to both your cat's needs and your household needs. So Smalls doesn't do any customization. This is not a custom cat food meal delivery service. Instead, they just serve you a few different meal plans that they think would best suit your needs. Now the meal plans are just collections of recipes that you're going to be receiving on a regular basis. It's important to mention that I didn't choose any one of these meal plans. I wanted to give you a good idea of what Smalls has to offer overall. So I ended up ordering a variety pack instead of any 
meal plan that was offered by Smalls. So when you see what comes in my box, it's not going to be representative of any particular meal plan offered by Smalls. Once you have decided which meal plan you want, you will place your order and the Smalls team will start preparing everything. Smalls uses really fast shipping in order to ensure that your food arrives frozen and fresh. So the Smalls food arrived on my doorstep and I opened it up to see what was inside. Again, I got a variety pack. It was full of all sorts of different options. I unpacked everything from the box and then I transferred some of the recipes to the refrigerator so that they could start thawing. So when it came time to serve the food, I found that it was a little bit less convenient than some other fresh food delivery services like Nom Nom that send everything in pre-portioned packages. I had to use a cutting board and cut the food into the appropriate serving sizes. I did appreciate that the packages are marked at 50 calorie increments, so you can very easily figure out the right portion for your cat. Um, that being said, it is a little bit more complicated than some of those pre-portioned foods. But before going into too much depth into exactly what my cats thought of each of these foods, I think we should go in detail on a few specific recipes. So first, let's take a look at their fresh bird recipe. It's primarily made from chicken thigh and chicken breast. Those are the primary protein sources. It also contains some green beans and peas, but it appears that these plant ingredients remain a really minimal part of the recipe overall, and its carbohydrate content is quite low. So overall, on a calorie-weighted basis, this food is about 48.4% protein, 48.1% fat, and 3.5% carbohydrates. So Overall, that is a pretty species-appropriate macronutrient distribution. It looks like a really protein-rich food without too much carbohydrate content. Now, secondly, let's take a look at one of the recipes from Small's line of freeze-dried foods. So first, a little bit of background on these foods. They're not your typical freeze-dried food. So a typical freeze-dried food is supposed to be rehydrated. So you'll add some warm water and the food will get soft and you can even mash it up to something of a pate consistency. Not so with this freeze-dried food. This is a freeze-dried kibble. So it's intended to be served as is straight out of the bag. I've tried rehydrating it. It doesn't work. Uh, the little pieces of freeze-dried food, these little nuggets, just float around in the water like cereal and milk. It doesn't really work. So that is a bit of a downside because you're not getting the moisture that your cat needs. That being said, the foods look pretty species appropriate and we'll see that as we go in depth on this turkey recipe. So this food is primarily made from turkey muscle meat. It also contains some turkey liver, heart, which is technically a muscle meat, um, and turkey gizzards. The food also contains some turkey egg as an additional source of nutrients, and it contains some raw goat's milk, which I've seen in some other freeze-dried foods, particularly from Vital Essentials. Potentially, raw goat's milk might have some anti-inflammatory benefits, but even if it doesn't have those benefits, it doesn't appear to be a harmful inclusion in your cat's food, and it seems that it could only do more good than harm. The food also contains some fish oil as a source of omega-3 fatty acids and overall looks like a really good species appropriate meat-based food. On a calorie weighted basis, the food is about 49.6% protein, 45.7% fat, and 4.7% carbohydrates. The third food I want to focus on is one of their kibble recipes. It's their fish kibble. So the food overall looks a lot like a typical grain-free dry food. It contains white fish and white fish meal as its first two ingredients. Then it also contains some sweet potatoes, peas, and pea protein. So it has several sources of starch as well as plant-derived protein. The food is supplemented with a variety of other uh, ingredients, including fish oil as a source of omega-3 fatty acids. It also contains a couple of nutraceuticals that could potentially improve your cat's health. And then it contains the small supplement blend that makes it nutritionally complete and balanced. So the food is roughly 41% protein, 39% fat, and 20% carbohydrates. So overall, it's looking a little bit more protein rich, a little bit lower carbohydrate than some other um, dry foods, including other grain-free dry foods that are kind of marketed as premium products. But 
it's overall not really a species appropriate choice. I found that my cats weren't terribly interested in this particular recipe, but I've tried the Smalls chicken with my cats before and they were pretty interested in that dry food. So I think that this food is palatable, it just depends on uh, your cat's particular preferences. So we've gone over a few specific recipes and I hope that it's giving you a sense of what Smalls has to offer, but how much does all of this cost? So I checked out a few different meal plans to see how much each of them would cost. So at the low end of the spectrum, you can get a 100% kibble meal plan, and that's going to cost a dollar a day, plus $10 uh, shipping per month. So that's looking like it's going to cost about $40 per month, and that's the cheapest subscription you can go for. In the middle of the range is the healthiest balance meal plan, which costs $2.90 per day, plus again, $10 of shipping. So that's looking like it's going to cost about $100 a month. And then when you step things up a little bit and you get a meal plan that contains a combination of freeze-dried and fresh food, you're going to be spending closer to $4 per day. So on this balanced convenience subscription, again, a combination of freeze-dried and wet food, you're going to be spending about $133 per month. So overall, Smalls is definitely a little bit more expensive than your standard grocery store fare, and it's more expensive than a lot of the foods that you're going to be seeing at the pet store, a lot of those um, supposedly premium products. That said, it's significantly cheaper than the majority of fresh food services that are currently in business. So overall, is Smalls a good choice? Over the last few years that I've been trying out Smalls intermittently with my cats, I've always been pretty happy with the experience. These foods are being held to standards that are almost unheard of in pet food. And so if you're looking for something that gives you a little bit of an added sense of safety and you want to know that your cat's foods are made from the same grade of ingredients that you might be eating, then Smalls is a really great choice. What I think sets this company apart from other comparable Companies like Nom Nom, for example, is the variety that you're getting. For the most part, pet food delivery services will offer between two and four recipes. It's very rare that you're getting the breadth of options that you're getting from Smalls. So Smalls allows you to choose from a wide variety of proteins, and you're also going to choose from fresh, freeze-dried, or dry food. So you have a lot of options, making it a good choice for people who have cats with food sensitivities or multi-cat homes. Don't be mistaken, this is not a customized product. The foods are not custom portioned for your cat, so if you're looking for a customized product, you're going to want to look elsewhere. The bottom line is, yes, I think that Smalls could certainly be worth it for certain people if you're very interested in a more convenient alternative to homemade food and you want a little bit of better ingredient quality than you'd be getting from a typical product. So I think that's about it for Smalls. I hope that you found this helpful. I know that choosing one of these pet food delivery services can be kind of challenging. They tend to emphasize marketing a lot and they make some pretty bold claims about their products. So I hope that this video helped you to kind of demystify Smalls, see what it's really all about, and to decide whether or not this could be a good option for your cat. If you think that you might want to try Smalls, go ahead and click the link in the description. Uh, you'll get 25% off your first order plus free shipping and you're covered by Small's 100% money back guarantee. And while you're in the description, you will also see a link to our free recall alert program. When you sign up for that, you will receive emails every time there's a new recall in the United States. It's one of the best ways you can stay informed and keep your cat safe. If you found this video helpful and you're interested in more cat food brand reviews, product reviews, buyer's guides, and information on all things cats, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you'll get the news every time we release a new video. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.